Have you ever been in a situation where you're needing to tell someone something that's maybe a little bit uncomfortable or isn't technically nice, but is kind of like tough love? Or have you ever had an experience where you feel as though someone isn't telling you something and they've kind of closed off as a result of that? Because if you have, then you might know the feeling that I'm talking about when it comes to shutting ourselves off from having these open lines of honest and genuine kind of communication with another individual. And I found whenever I am in one of these situations, be it from my end or from the other party's end, it always, always turns out worse when it's never spoken of, when the issue is never addressed, because then that almost gives grounds for it to fester and for it to kind of develop into something that it realistically isn't. To tell someone something they need to hear can kind of cut that effort of it being uh, a struggle so much shorter and lessens the severity an incredible amount. Because we've got to remember that as time goes on, the longer that this thing is unresolved, a snowball effect tends to happen where little tiny little things on a day-to-day -day basis contribute to this undercurrent, this underlying thing that hasn't been addressed. So the longer we leave it, the worse it gets because it's not only the thing we have to say, but it's also all of this other collected stuff as time's gone on as well. So that's the bad aspect, but what about the good aspect? To do this, to being able to open up to someone, to it does take a certain amount of vulnerability to tell someone something that you know they probably aren't gonna wanna hear, because that opens you up to criticism, that gives them an opportunity to get defensive, and you have to be solid enough within yourself to being able to put that forward to them in the most loving and respectful and genuine way that you can albeit being extremely potentially uncomfortable throughout that process to speak up and to have this conversation with this particular person about something that they really need to hear or simply to have a discussion about a topic that might need airing out is actually in my opinion an attempt to connect much deeper than if you were to simply just stick to the pleasantries and the comfortable conversations that are easy, that don't take much effort, that don't have much resistance when it comes to communicating them. And a lot of the time they're a lot simpler to communicate because these more difficult things have a lot more complexity and have a lot more nuance and potential implications that need to be managed and mitigated to be effectively communicated. And I don't think anybody is perfect at this. I'm still very much in the camp of needing to progress and develop this, but I found the more I do it, the better things get. The more you're honest with the people around you and the more that you show the vulnerability of showing your cards, a lot of the time, people find the opportunity to speak with you to be a lot safer and they themselves open up in what they are wanting to say as well. So it's not just an opportunity for you to share some things that you think are important, but it gives those around you the freedom to do the same in response. And it's surreal to think about how different my life would be if I hadn't had a handful of really difficult but really important conversations with a few really important people in my life. And to think about how that only deepened and furthered and strengthened my relationship with those people who otherwise I, I might not even have any kind of relation to at this point. So the message that I'm trying to put across is that if we genuinely really love and respect and want to honor the people in our lives, but not only the people in our lives, but ourselves, to show ourselves the kind of respect we deserve, then the best bet to take care of ourselves and those around us is to have these conversations, is to 
embrace this truly open and honest communication methodology, let's say, for connecting with people. Because what's the alternative? Otherwise, we shut ourselves off or people feel they need to shut themselves off from us and we don't really get anywhere. The moral of the story is that it is almost always seemingly so much more terrifying and so much scarier before you have the conversation as compared to afterwards when the dust has settled and what is needed to be said has been said. So if you're finding yourself in this kind of situation right now, all I'd urge you to do is just to try your best not to think too much about it and simply take the step, have the conversation and let the cards fall where they may. Because sure, it might not turn out great, but it could also turn out far better than you could ever imagine. And on that note, that brings us to the end of yet another one of these videos. So. If you hadn't heard yet, I recently launched a server on Discord just to try to bring us all together and to facilitate some good conversations and share some good kind of resources here and there with a bit of back and forth between me and you guys more so than just me semi to myself. Um, and if you're wanting to follow me on Instagram as well, where I put little updates of different things that I'm doing, then feel free to uh, check that out. I've got all the links in the description below. So, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and do more than you think you can.